Am I pregnant? is a common doubt for most women after wedding. It is usually the duty of elderly women in the family to clear this doubt by confirming pregnancy. They do it by looking into some signs and symptoms experienced by the woman who is suspected to be pregnant. It's very common, even in movies, that pregnant women either vomit or faint. Ancient Egyptian practices are very interesting. A woman suspected to be pregnant is asked to urinate on bags of wheat and barley for a few days. Pregnancy is confirmed if the grain sprout faster. If the wheat sprouts, it's a girl, and if barley sprouts, it's a boy. Today, we have better ways to diagnose a pregnancy. And that's what we are going to learn in this video. Let us see the signs and symptoms in each trimester. In first trimester, the symptoms are amenorrhea, the absence of menses, morning sickness, nausea or vomiting, frequency in micturition, breast symptoms like heaviness or tenderness, appetite changes and fatigue. These are the symptoms experienced by the pregnant woman. On examination, we can appreciate some obvious signs on breast, abdomen, vagina, cervix and uterus. Let us see each one in detail. Here we can see the breast changes. The size is enlarged. There is increased vascularity making the veins dilated. And there is hyperpigmentation and formation of the secondary areola. And there are increased number of sebaceous glands on the areola called the mongomeris tubercles. Abdominal changes cannot be clearly appreciated in first trimester because uterus remains a pelvic organ. It may be felt per abdomen as a suprapubic bulge by 12th week. Vaginal signs are the vaginal walls become soft. Mucoid discharge which is copious and non-irritating is common during pregnancy. There is increased vascularity of the vaginal walls. This increase in vascularity gives rise to two signs which is called the Jacquemer sign and the Osiander sign. Jacquemer sign is otherwise called the Chadwick sign. It is the bluish discoloration of the vaginal mucosa due to increased blood supply. Osiander sign is the increased pulsation felt through the lateral fornices while doing a per vaginal examination. Two cervical signs of pregnancy are Goodell sign and Jacquemer sign. Goodell sign is the softening of cervix by six weeks. Jacquemer sign or the Chadwick sign is the bluish discoloration of cervix as seen in vagina. Now let's see the uterine signs. The size of the uterus increases. The shape becomes globular by 12 weeks. Uterus becomes soft and elastic in consistency. We can appreciate two uterine signs on by manual examination. The Palmer sign and the Hagar sign. Palmer sign we can feel regular rhythmic contractions by 4 to 8 weeks. This is very, very mild. Hagar sign, we feel the upper part of the uterus is hard and enlarged and the lower part is soft and almost empty. That's the signs and symptoms of first trimester. Let's move on to the second trimester. Symptoms in the second trimester are the amenorrhea persists. Morning sickness and the urinary symptoms reduce or disappear in the second trimester. Abdomen keeps enlarging. Quickening is felt in the second trimester. Primary gravida feels quickening by 18 to 20 weeks and multipara by 16 to 18 weeks. The objective signs in second trimester are all the previous signs persist with more prominent abdominal signs. Let's see the abdominal signs in detail. On inspection, you'll see linea nigra and striae gravidarum. On palpation, you can feel Braxtonic's contractions. You remember the Palmer sign in the first trimester, which was extremely mild? It develops into Braxtonic's contractions in the second trimester. This is also very mild. You can also palpate uterine fundus to mark and measure the fundal height. Fetal parts and movements can also be palpated. On auscultation, you can hear the fetal heart sounds. You can also hear the blood flow through the blood vessels. 
These sounds are called the uterine and the fetal suffle. Uterine suffle is due to increase in blood flow through the dilated uterine vessels and is synchronous with mother's pulse. Fetal suffle is due to the rush of blood through the umbilical arteries of the placenta and is in synchrony with the fetal heart sounds. So these are the abdominal signs in the second trimester. Let's move on to the third trimester. The symptoms are amenorrhea persists, there is enlargement of the abdomen, frequency of maturation reappears. It re remember, it reduced in second trimester. Fetal mo movements are more pronounced and lightning is felt in the third trimester. L lightning is nothing but the uterus descends down into the pelvic cavity. The signs in the third trimester are the cutaneous changes become more prominent. Braxton Hicks contractions are more evident. Fetal movements are easily felt per abdomen. Fetal parts can be felt and identified easily. Fetal heart sounds are louder and can be heard distinctly. Uterus becomes spherical in shape. We can also confirm pregnancy by lab, lab investigations. Urine pregnancy test and blood pregnancy test, which estimate or detect the presence of HCG, a placental hormone in maternal serum and urine. We also confirm pregnancy by doing an ultrasound scan. So, we learned the diagnosis of pregnancy. I hope you understood the signs of pregnancy. But when you are asked to write the signs of pregnancy in exam, you are expected to write under three classifications, probable, presumptive, and positive signs of pregnancy. Probable signs are the abdominal enlargement, Braxton Hicks contractions, changes in size, shape, and consistency of uterus, Jacquemers or Osiander's sign, softening of the cervix, and urine pregnancy test. The presumptive signs of pregnancy are amenorrhea, frequency of maturation, morning sickness, fatigue, breast changes, skin changes, and quickening. The positive signs of pregnancy are the palpation of fetal parts, perception of fetal movements on examination, auscultation of fetal heart sounds, ultrasound evidence of the embryo or fetus, and the radiological demonstration of fetal skeleton. You'll be wondering why a urine pregnancy test is just a probable sign of pregnancy or any other sign that we thought will confirm pregnancy comes under probable or presumptive signs. That's because there are pathological conditions like cystic ovarian tumor, uterine fibroids, encysted peritonitis, distended urinary bladder, and some cancers that can show similar signs. And certain carcinoma can even give a false urine pregnancy test. There's also a psychological disorder called the pseudosiasis that shows false, preg false pregnancy signs. The condition itself is called phantom or false pregnancy. The wo a woman has false yet firm belief that she is pregnant. And she'll say she feels the symptoms of pregnancy. She even perceived the intestinal movements as fetal movements. But on examination, there are no positive signs of pregnancy. This is commonly found in women who is infertile and has a strong desire to have a baby. To recap, we saw the signs and symptoms of pregnancy in each trimester. We learned that pregnancy can be diagnosed by lab investigations and ultrasound. We also saw the probable, positive and presumptive signs of pregnancy. We also learned the conditions that can show false signs of pregnancy. I hope you all understood the topics. See you tomorrow with physiological changes in pregnancy.